How do you do this? Well, you get your stuff all ready. You got your little cuvette ready. What you want to do, let's put this here so I can see it. You want to set this little machine up so that it is the correct parameters. It says 400 ohms. So come down here and we find resistance is futile. Ohms. We set this to 400. Okay. It says 25 microfaradays. So we come down here and we flip this thing to 25 microfaradays. Okay. Then you set the voltage, and that's these red numbers with these up and down arrows. And in this case, for Mixos, it's 0.65 kilovolts. It's different depending on the organism. Okay. So here's 0.65, almost. What in blue blazes do you think you're doing? We're getting there. What in the hell? Okay, now it's ready to go. So now remember, you're going to zap this, and you're going to put it as fast as you can into your flask. Okay, that's waiting here by the side. So now how do you actually do this? It's super, super easy. You take your little cuvette, and notice it's got a notch on the front of it. And this little holder, which has been broken over the years, it's held together with a piece of tape. That's where your uh, tuition dollars are going. <laughs> and you put this in that little tray. Notice with this case, like this little cap, the little flap is facing forward. If you put it in sideways like this, it won't fit. For one thing, it won't go down. But if you put this down like so, only one way it could fit, but your cap is sideways, it'll probably get stuck in this piece of plastic. So you'll figure that out when you try. Now notice that you've got these metal connectors on either side, and you've got metal connectors up there in the, between those two wires. Okay? So all you do is you slide this thing in until it clicks and it connects like that. Then you come down here and you hold these two red buttons and you hold them until there's a beep. So I'm going to hold these and take a couple seconds. Here we go. Okay. Heard that little beep, I hope. And it says 9.2. That is the amount of time in milliseconds that your cells were sort of undergoing that electrical shock. And we're shooting for about nine if things are perfect for Mixos. Now, pull this out, like I said, as soon as you possibly can. If not sooner. Remove your little cells. And this is kind of hard to do sometimes because they're, they're in there. But if you just suck it up like so, you'll get enough of them out. You'll be all right. Put them in your flask. If you're really careful, what I've done too is suck up some of that again and sort of wash this out. Okay. Put some back in, suck it back out. And that way you get every little bit of goodness. I hope. And then we take this and we go over and we shake it for as long as, again, we can handle it. Probably an hour. 12 hours would be better, but we're not going to do that. Okay, we're going to shake this. And the next step will be showing you what to do when you're done at that point, when you put it under selection. Okay, folks, we're in the home stretch, okay? This has been shaking and it has been um, for about an hour and a half, two hours. Um, they now have had a chance to express the DNA from the plasmid, and there should be some can resistant little guys in here, we hope, all right? So now we're gonna put them under selection. So what do you do? Well, what I would do is take all of this, maybe you've only got one and a half, two mils in there, put it in an Eppendorf tube and spin it to get the pellet. Okay, so spin it for two minutes at high speed, get rid of the supernatant, um, and then resuspend it in about 100 microliters um, uh, of, of um, CTT, which we'll give you, okay? And I'm not gonna do that right now because I'm just trying to show you how to do this. So pretend we did that, right? So you'll have your cells ready to go that have been, been doing their thing. Now, to put them onto a plate that has selection, 
we are going to give you what are called CTT plates with canamycin. The final concentration of these plates is 50 micrograms per mil. You have to, I mean, that'll be the selection. The problem with mixos is you can't just take them and hockey stick them directly on this plate because mixos turn out to be delicate, like me. And what they'll do is they'll break and crush and actually be destroyed if you use a hockey stick. So we're going to do a different technique where we're going to use slop auger to act as a little cushion. It just adds one more step and it involves this water bath and it involves slop auger, which is right here. This is three mils, 3.0 mils of CTT slop auger. And what you're going to do is take your pelleted, resuspended in 100 microliter cells and you're going to put them in here. Okay? So the problem is you've got to make this stuff have canamycin in it. So I want you to figure out if there's three mils here, how much of this stock canamycin you're going to put in. You're going to get a stock. That's 50 migs per mil, 50 migs, and you want three mils with a final concentration of 50 micrograms per mil, okay? And I'm smart, so I've already figured that out. So what I'm gonna do is take some of this canamycin and I'm gonna put it in my little slop auger. I've already done my calculation. Have you done yours? You just take it and put the canamycin directly into the three mils of auger. I pet it up and down a few times, get it in there. I take this and close it, spin it up and down a little bit. Now it's mixed. This has canamycin in it now. Okay. Now take your cells. Remember, yours are going to be resuspended. Re put your cells in here. Twirl them up and down a couple times, mix in the cells. And now all you do is stick them right onto the surface of your CTT plate like so. And then spin the plate around, get rid of all the openings. And now what you've done is made a nice little bed of auger, slop auger for those cells. Now once this dries or cools, which is pretty quick, we will then sit there and um, put it at 30 degrees and hopefully you'll see mixos that are can resistant in about seven days.